Alright guys, so you know me. I'm a gigantic nerd. It's what I do. Right now I'm watching the Avengers and downloading Unreal Engine 4.9 Preview 1 and I decided to go over the summary with you. So let's do this. First of all, DirectX 12. Yes, DirectX 12 is inside this. So, the way that we're going to be able to run DirectX 12 um, I'm going to go over this really, really quickly for you. Uh, how I think we're going to run DirectX 12. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. But I'm going to test it anyway. I, I think this here is DirectX. This, th this right here is 4.9. Uh, it's an older version, but it's there nonetheless. So we're going to create a shortcut for the editor. We're going to go all the way down to where the shortcut exists, which I believe would be at the bottom. We're going to right click like that. And we're going to go at the end. And we're going to go back to the page. Now, where it says this, you're going to copy and paste and hit OK. And I think that's how it works. I don't know if that will run or not. Um, but if it does, I'll be surprised. So we're going to let that load up while I talk about this. And there it is. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, you're now able to use advanced search syntax when performing searches in the content browser. Important improvements to the usability and robustness of collections, including nested collections, dynamic collections, and more. All right, so now we got some blueprint updates. Sorry, phone's going off. Friend is messaging me about some Blender stuff. And two people are actually. So optimized math expression node is now more uh, whatever that word is. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I will screw up really bad because I got blurry vision right now. Uh, then regular nodes functions can now have multiple turn nodes construct objects from class nodes let you spawn uh, base or objects types and it's turning on oh okay right um there's a lot of good stuff in blueprints by the looks of it yeah uh we got core updates runtime assets cache is generic assets cache system that could be used to persistently store data generated during runtimes and configure assets uh, buckets Ugh. it's that time where I always have to start a new one hate this DX12 so we're going to create that DX12 project. So there's some core updates. There's some framework updates. Sound quality levels give sound designers the ability to manage audio memory usage and some performance. That's good. Um, you can now define your own custom curve. Improvement actors. Okay, that's good. And bone driven controllers. All right. Um, so mobile rendering, dynamic point lights are now supported, dynamic character shadows cannot be used, and decals are now supported. That's good for mobile. Rendering updates, improvements to blendables. The collision module and the GPU emitters are now properly called collision mode. Uh, distant field ambient inclusion quality and performance improvements. There are two new nodes to access the global distant fields properties with and the manager editor, area shadows for stationary lights, and the new ambient conclusion material mask features lets you access. Oh, that's really good. And there's some VR updates too. I don't do VR. By the way, quick notes no Visual Studio 2015. Um, it does run on Windows 10. And also, I tested this, and this isn't true. I do not know really how to tell what this is running on. So do we just show stats? Type command, okay. Show FPS. Advanced, I want to show threading. 
draw calls. I want to show draw calls. Numgets engine CPU stills load time yeah threads all my threads are working all eight of them gonna now officially turn that off Ooh, engine um, version 4.849 ah uh, 120 FPS that's good and FPS it just levels detailed oh that's pretty cool not bad it does feel better huh how the hell do we tell if it's in DirectX 12 or not I'm gonna go click this eh. did that do anything um uh, physical counters yeah i need to get rid of that uh the stats one i do not know for the life of me how to show i'm just going to go turn off all stats show fps shit unit i did what version Detailed, turn off detailed. Okay. <laughs> so, no issues and bugs. There's a huge issue list. So, you guys are going to have to go over that one because that's a lot. Um, nobody's excited for DirectX 12 in this thread. That's kind of sad for game designers. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, time to do DirectX 12 videos. Yay! As soon as I figure out how to use DirectX 12 in the